Hello everyone, FedEx Gaming here. Welcome back to another Redstone tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to build a room inside of a fireplace. Now, you can call it a secret room, but it's pretty easy to notice that there's going to be a room inside this thing. Now, I've done plenty of secret fireplace rooms in the past. However, most of them don't work on PE. Now, this one does work on Pocket Edition. However, we're going to have to make a few slight changes at the end of the video to make it work on Pocket Edition. So, just follow along during the entire video and then we're just going to change it up a little bit at the end for the pocket edition people so this room is very easy to get into all we have to do is just walk right into our fireplace and we'll be launched up into our room or you can call it a secret room but it's really not that secret so just walk forward boop boop and we get launched up into our room and then it closes up underneath here so as you can see the fireplace is back on under here like nothing is there and then in here i just have well i just like making everything symmetrical it doesn't have to look like this but here is my room and then when i'm ready to leave all i have to do is come down here click this button and we will drop back down boop boop and then the fireplace will turn on once again now i'll do that one more time so we just walk in boop pops us up and then we're into our room then when we're ready to leave come down here click this button we'll pop down here and then it'll push us out and then we can go on our merry little way so let's go ahead and look at the redstone not too much redstone inside this now like i said pocket edition people you're gonna have to wait to the end of the video because i'm gonna have to make a few slight changes to this thing to make it work on pocket edition because i don't know why redstone is so different over there all right guys so for this build you're going to need a four by seven spacing and you're also going to have to dig down three now that red line right there is where your wall is going to be going so just giving you a heads up right there the red line is where your wall is now the resources you're going to need for this build are four sticky pistons two dispensers four redstone repeaters one redstone torch 26 redstone two pressure plates one stone button or wooden button really doesn't matter two slime blocks two netherrack three immovable objects i'm just going to be using obsidian because apparently furnaces do move on pe so i'm just going to start using obsidian as my immovable object we're also going to need at least two flint and steels but i highly recommend just putting as many flint and steels as possible into those dispensers all right guys so once you've gotten your four by seven spacing dug down your three and gathered up all your resources what i want you to do is come to the bottom right over over here now remember that red stain clay line is where your wall is going to be going now what we're going to do is start off right down here we're just going to count over one block and we're going to place down two pieces of obsidian one and two and place redstone on top of it now if you are on console or pc you can go ahead and use a furnace but on pe you have to use obsidian it's very weird now right up here next to this block we're going to come up right here break down one more block and place in a sticky piston and then we're going to place a slime block here break this block and place in yet again another slime block right next to it Next up, what we're going to do is place a block right here next to our obsidian. Place a piece of redstone down on top of it. Then we're going to place in our last immovable object right here. But before we do that, we're going to place down a repeater right here and set it to four ticks delay. Next up, what we're going to do is place another immovable object right above our four tick delay repeater with our redstone on top of it. We no longer need any of that. We are completely done with our immovable objects. Next up, come out two more blocks from here. So one, two. Then we're going to come down a block and place a repeater right down here on four ticks delay. Place redstone right along all these blocks, one, two, and three. Place a block up right in front of our four tick delay repeater with a piece of redstone on top of the block. Next up, we're going to place a block right here in between these two pieces of redstone with our redstone torch right on top of it. Next up, come out two blocks from this block right here. So one, two, place redstone on top of both of them and then place two sticky pistons facing inwards. They both should extend out and then place your nether rack in front of those sticky pistons. Next up, take out your dispensers and place two dispensers right here. One, two, and then go ahead and place your flint and steel inside of both of these dispensers. Next up, come back over here to this redstone torch, place a block above your redstone torch like this and then come out two blocks this way. One, two, place redstone right along all those blocks. Next up, take out your sticky pistons once again. Place two sticky pistons right here. And then I like to use stairs here. You can use normal blocks. It really doesn't matter. But I feel like the stairs that make the fireplace look a lot better inside. You can put normal blocks, but then it kind of looks more boxy. So I'm going to be using stairs here. So I like to place two stairs right here upside down. Next, we're going to swing back over here to where this redstone is. And we're going to come out at least one more block. And then we're going to come down a block next to our dispenser and do the same thing on this side. Come out a block, come over, and then come down a block next to your dispenser, placing redstone along all of these blocks like this. It should light up your fireplace. And then last but not least, we're going to place two blocks right in front of our fireplace, take out our pressure plates. I don't know if I called those slabs when I was doing the resource list. I might have, but we're going to take out our pressure plates. And that's it, guys. You are completely done except for the button up top. So we're going to go ahead and just test it out real quick. So we're going to walk into a boop, get popped up, and oh, do you know what? I did not set up the bottom area down here, did I? Nope, I did not. I cannot believe I forgot to do that. So right down here where that four tick delay repeater is we're going to place a block in front of it then we're going to place a two tick delay repeater coming out of this block so that four tick right over there is going into this block and then this repeater is coming out of this block set it to two ticks and then place a piece of redstone in front of it now everything should be working so let me go ahead and get out of here and now we can go ahead and test it out so we all we have to do is walk forward boop pop us up and then we're in 
our secret room so now all we have to do is the button up top will be completely done and then i'll work on the pe version for you guys so what i like to do up here is i like to place two staircases going up place two blocks right here and place two more staircases going up right here next up take out a block of choice and just come out one two blocks from here and then place a button off of this block right here it should be at least two blocks from this redstone so one two and then there should be your block with your button Next up, we're going to take out some different blocks. Let's go ahead and just use yellow stained clay. Now, all we have to do is just bring our power going all the way down to over here for the top button. So we're just going to take out our blocks and place it right here next to where this button is on this side. So if I place redstone here and click the button, as you can see, the redstone comes on. Then what we're going to do is come out two more blocks right here. One, two. Now, we don't want these two connecting together. As you can see, if I bring the redstone right here, it will connect together. We don't want this to happen. So we're going to have to cut this off right here. And then what we're going to do is right from here, we're going to come down a block, come down a block come down yet again another block and then once again come down one more block and then just wrap it all the way down to this redstone right over here now what we're going to do is place a block up next to this redstone take out a slab we're going to need a slab for this part so go ahead and take out a stone slab or any slab you want to use place it upside down right here and then we're going to place redstone going all the way up until we reach this button area next up what i want you to do is just take out your blocks one last time place a block right here and then we're going to place a repeater going into this redstone right here on two ticks delay. And now your top button should be working. So if I stand right here and click my button, I should boop, fall down, and then get pushed out. And then when I get off, the fireplace should reactivate. And that's it, guys. You are completely done. Now, all we have to do is just clean up our fireplace. So I like to use stone right here. So we're going to place some stone up like this, some stone right here. Now, right here, you cannot place a stone block or else it will cut off the power. And we don't want that to happen. So you can go ahead and just use stone slabs here or any really slabs you want to use. I like to keep it, though, matching everything. So I'm going to place a stone slab right here upside down. I'm going to do the same thing on this side as well. Place a stone slab right here upside down and now we can go ahead and fill in this entire area and make it look nice fill in this right here and then we can go ahead and fill in our fireplace so for my fireplace what i like to do is come up like this and then come over like that like that and then on these corner blocks i actually like to place in staircases so place a staircase here place a staircase here and then actually for here should be our color of our wall so i'm going to be using blue i've been using blue a lot lately for my walls so let's go ahead and take out our blue stain clay we're gonna place a blue stain clay block here and here and then we're going to bring up our fireplace like this and this is going to be our wall right here there we go place it right along that red stained clay place it right along our red stained clay there is our perfect wall uh <laughs> well it's not perfect but it's better than nothing so there we go there's our fireplace so now if you just walk right in boom pop up into our secret room and now we can do whatever we want up here and then when we're ready to leave come right over here click this button fall down and then we'll be pushed out of our fireplace so that's it guys you are completely done now for pocket edition people so now for pocket edition people we're going to make a few changes to this fireplace to make it work for you guys so i'm going to quickly go ahead and just delete all this stuff real quickly and then i'll be right back all right guys so i quickly just went ahead and deleted the wall just to make sure it's nice and open so we could see everything so now for the pocket edition people i'm going to be using pink stain clay as the add-on so what we're going to do is come right over here and we're just going to break down this area one two three one two three because we're going to need to open up this area right here over where the torch is now we are going to need a lot more repeaters so you're going to need a few more repeaters i don't have it in the list because i'm mostly console and i guess pc so what we're going to do first is we're going to break this repeater right here we're going to be changing where that repeater goes and then what i want you to do is come in here and where this two tick delay repeater is next to these sticky piston well slime blocks i should say we're going to set this repeater right here to three ticks delay not two ticks so as you can see it's on three not two then we're going to come up here and break this redstone and we're going to place a repeater going into this block on one tick delay because for some reason on pocket edition the redstone goes into pistons and we can't have that happen if we have the redstone going into the pistons they will not retract so we're going to need a repeater there next up we're going to place some blocks right here so one two three this is our pocket edition add-on we're going to place a piece of redstone right here and place a repeater going this way on four ticks delay like that then place a block in front of it with some redstone right up here next up what we're going to do is come right up here and we're going to break this redstone here and this redstone right here and instead of having redstone there, we're going to have repeaters going this way on one tick and another repeater going that way on one tick as well. Now, instead of having the slab here, we're going to need a full block. So just take out your slabs again and place in yet again another slab here because we're going to need a full block to activate that redstone right down there. And then we're going to come to this side as well. And actually, can I see it from here? Yes, I can. So we're going to place another slab right here just to make sure that redstone comes on. And that's it, guys. That's the add-on for the Pocket Edition people. So now it should be working absolutely fine on Pocket Edition. Now, don't do the Pocket Edition one on console because it will not work on console if you do the Pocket Edition. So you guys have it. That's how you build a room inside of a fireplace. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a like and subscribe. Stay tuned with my newest videos. All right, guys. Boop. Peace.